you know when studios start going off on racist fans that they've got an agenda going on. And that agenda is the fact that they have a failed product about to come out and they're trying to spin the marketing real quick in order to cover their own asses. That's exactly what we have going on here with Obi-Wan. Tomorrow, it's coming out, May 27th, as of the recording of this video. And we're already seeing preliminary uh, leaks and the things like that, showing that this is not going to be a good show. And it's going to be your fault, fans, because of it. Again, you know how it goes. Whew. My name is John Delarose, and I am an award-winning science fiction writer, a number one bestseller. I write stuff that's way better than Star Wars, honestly. You can go check this out right now, Overmind on Kickstarter. We're crushing it. This is the second, third day, and uh, awesome. I appreciate you guys coming in, getting it. It's over 12000 that fast. This is the best launch we've ever had, and honestly, it's the best product we've ever had, too. We have a beautiful, beautiful redhead, as you can tell, with a nice ray gun, blaster, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, you know, we do Star Wars better than Star Wars, so you should check it out. Uh, it's wonderful stuff, and I appreciate everybody who does so. Best community in the entire business, hands down. All right. I saw this coming out a couple days ago. Uh, this is from Jacob Smith, who's a, a great uh, movie reviewer in and of his own right. He wrote an article for Bounding Into Comics called, After Endorsing Calling All White People Racist, Lucasfilm prepped actress Moses Ingram against, quote, racist backlash to her Obi-Wan Kenobi character. So yes, we had this whole controversy last year with Christina Ariel, who they picked to talk about their High Republic. And this stuff gets buried so fast. It happens so much that we really forget how many instances of this goes down. And this actually blew up so big. Jack Posobiec blew this up to the point where they actually had to address it. They actually addressed this tweet from the Star Wars uh, deal, and they, uh, they, they spun it. To, to somehow make the fans the problem. This is what they always do. Is uh, it's, it's not our fault. It's the fans. The fans just don't understand what racism truly is. Well, I do. Uh, so we'll, let's go over this. Uh, white people, effing stop it. Your racism won't save you. Your ignorance is not an excuse. So, I don't know. If you're telling an entire race uh, to stop existing uh, because of some guy's tweet, uh, and you're talking about an entire race being a certain way negatively. Uh, that is typically what we refer to as racism. Uh, just because you're black and your target is white doesn't make you less racist, uh, Christina Ariel. And Star Wars actually, of course, went out and made their tweet about it saying, you know, that uh, it's the fans' fault every single time. But she keeps going. Uh, a white woman are just as complicit enough holding and enforcing white supremacy she just goes off on this stuff when it doesn't even have anything to do uh, with white women, white conservatives. There it is. Uh, she's into that. And here's what Star Wars said about it. this is their official account. Our Star Wars community is one of hope and inclusivity, unless you're conservative. <laughs> it's not in the tweet, but we do not stand for bullying and racism. We support Christina Ariel. Well, they obviously do stand for bullying and racism because that's what Christina Ariel was attempting to do in those tweets. And when they have a show that's going to be bad, like Obi-Wan, which everybody says uh, diminishes the character of Obi-Wan so far, leaks show that Obi-Wan is uh, the typical uh, arc that we've seen from like Luke Skywalker in The Last Jedi or Han Solo in A Force Awakens, where uh, their contributions meant nothing. Uh, all the Everything they worked for failed. They're just nihilistic. They're upset. Uh, they're kind of moping through life because of their failures. They hate everything, and uh, they're ruined heroes. They are heroes who never accomplished anything, according to these movies. I mean, this is unfortunately what they did. They're going to do this to Obi-Wan now, and this is exactly what they have now. Uh, and so here's what they've talked about with the show happening right here. They've got this villain, and her name is an Inquisitor. She's an Inquisitor who works for Darth Vader. And uh, she ends up hunting down Obi-Wan on Tatooine, according to the leaks so far. Well, uh, in this, of course, she starts to, to see the good and what to do and all this. And uh, Obi-Wan just kind of wanders around haplessly. Again, these aren't, these aren't confirmed, but this is how every Disney show goes. I mean, if you think I'm spoiling something, I haven't seen it. 
But if you've watched any MCU movie as of late, any sort of Star Wars anything, the Book of Boba Fett, uh, Star Wars Force Awakens, uh, the man wanders around haplessly while the female comes and she ends up having to rescue him. Even if she's a bad guy, uh, this is exactly what's going to happen in the Obi-Wan series. We know this. It's not going to be a show about Obi-Wan. It's going to be a show about this Inquisitor character uh, that Ingram is playing here. Just like Doctor Strange is not about Doctor Strange, it's about Wanda. Just like Boba Fett wasn't about Boba Fett, it's about that uh, that other chick. Uh, I don't even remember her name from the show because she really had no personality. But every show has has done this, and that what they do is they take the name Obi-Wan, something you love and you're familiar with, and they bait you with it because they're like, oh, I'm going to watch an Obi-Wan show for sure. And then they switch. Uh, it's the bait and switch classic to this uh, sort of race gender swapped hero uh, where they just turn your hero into mush uh, to try to uplift this new character that's the diverse replacement. And uh, they know that. And they know that the, that storytelling always fails. And it's it's really sad. They never can actually just make their own shows, make their own characters. They always have to do this to these uh, old characters to try to uh, elevate the new ones above the old by showing you that the old ones suck. And uh, nobody wants to see that Obi-Wan sucks. I mean, honestly, Obi-Wan was great. Uh, that's what was wonderful about the movies. He was a character we all cared about. That's why we even cared about him in episode one through three. Even those were those were bad movies. We know that Obi-Wan was a good character. And it's really sad to watch them try this again. All right. Uh, so, of course, because you aren't going to like the show, and the show is going to be lousy, uh, and it's going to be poor quality, and it's going to be full of just bad writing, uh, they'll just brand you as racist to try to cover up on it. And this is exactly what they're doing already before the show even comes out. It was something Lucasfilm actually got in front of and said, This is a thing that unfortunately will likely happen. But we are here to help you. You can let us know when it happens. Let us know when it happens. So they're actually going to go hunt like a tweet or two or three. She's probably being coached to do this, like uh, the actress who plays Rose Tico uh, did. And she'll go out there and she'll be like, Oh, one person anonymously said something horrible to me. Fandom is, is harassing me. Uh, and it'll be their big marketing campaign. It's it's tired. It's been done so many times now, and you know that's the game plan every single time you see something like this going on in a beloved franchise. It's really sad. Uh, of course, there's always pockets of hate, Ingram said, but I have no problem with the block button. Oh, stunning and brave, isn't she? Uh, you can't get much stunninger and braver and more heroic than that. At least she's not like Obi-Wan. So there it is. This is the game plan. This is what they're going to go with with Obi-Wan when this show inevitably fails. And I just hope that people will just finally tune out of freaking Star Wars. It's time already. Disney's killed it. They have no signs of wanting to go back and actually uh, make it a great show or franchise again. Uh, they're just about their little racism, and that's all it is. While over here on my channel, we're just about great stories. That's what we're telling. So I'll hope you'll abandon Star Wars. Take your $7.99 from Disney Plus a month. Come to Kickstarter. Enjoy the good stuff. And maybe one day we'll be able to make some good films. What do you think about this situation? I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. Hit that like and subscribe button. And we'll be back soon.